Hi you guys, this is Jamie with Whatever's Clever Boutique and today I have a fun custom order that I'm going to walk through with you guys today on how my brain kind of processes and figures these out. And like always, I'll have all of the things that I use listed and linked in the description box below and let's get started. So I kind of drew out the sketch. The wish list had bright colors, waves, and Dalmatian print. So I decided to basically make like a sectioned off tumbler that is separated by the waves. So there's gonna be a rainbow ombre in the middle, the waves on the side, and then the Dalmatian print on the back. So to start, I'm gonna take a 30 ounce prepped tumbler from Craft Haven, and I'm just taking some really thin masking tape here and I'm just kind of working on getting a good wave pattern. This did take me a little bit of time, so I did speed this up quite a bit here, but all in all, I really like how the wave portion turned out. I haven't made too many of these. This is only my second time making a wave tumbler, and I really love this one. Once we get done with that, we're gonna go in and do our rainbow ombre. I have so many glitters here. They're all from Chase Ray. This is Daphne and Neverland, that's our purple. Glacier and Snorkel. Mojito and Mojito 2.0. Lemon Drop and Lemon Drop 2.0. Sherbert and Sherbert 2.0. Tangerine and Sunkissed and Scrunchy and Scrunchy 2.0. And now with these, these are available in neon bundles. So basically one is the chunky version and one is the fine version of those colors. So I did forget to do the bottom here. <laughs> so we moved back a step so that I could create the wave all the way across the bottom. Now that today we're gonna go in with epoxy method. I prefer epoxy method for ombre -ing. I just feel like I get more working time and more depth with the epoxy than I do glitter glue or Mod Podge or anything like that. So that's what I'm going with today. Of course, you can do whatever you would like. And I didn't base paint this, and I'm actually really glad I didn't take the time to do so because the colors really ended up popping on this white background anyway. So it was kind of trial and error for me and it worked out great. I took a lot of time here kind of being careful as to not get it over that little masking tape line. That way I just didn't have a lot of cleanup, you know, as far as once we pulled the tape, having to clean up any transfer of glitter that adhered, any of that kind of stuff. So I took a lot of time there. Now I'm gonna go in with Scrunchy 2.0 and I'm just going in very lightly with all of these first layers of my kind of chunkier versions of these glitters. Now Tangerine. and Sherbert 2.0. Lemon Drop 2.0. And I do have a discount code for Chase Ray. It is whatever15 for 15% 15 off your order if you wanna go grab these neon bundles. Was Mojito 2.0. And as you can see, I'm just going in super, super light. With this many colors ombre, it's very important to start light and build up your color depth as you go. Now that I have those bases laid down, I'm going to go in with a little bit of a heavier coat of those chunkier glitters. tilting my tumbler as you can kind of see here 
to kind of get that ombre. It's hard because it's not just two colors where you're, you know, ombre across the entire tumbler. With this many colors, you really don't want to tilt your tumbler too much or you're going to get that color up into another color that you don't want it to go up into. So I just slightly tilt my tumbler to try and build up that ombre look into the colors that it's touching. Once we get that all done, we're going to go in now with our finer glitters. So this is scrunchy. I'm just going to go over that pink area and this really builds the depth and vibrant color adding these fine glitters. And this is scrunchy going over that tangerine. And this glittering process did take quite a while. I will tell you that ahead of time. <laughs> I have this speed up two times, so I'm definitely going a lot quicker. You don't see me bottling the glitter back up after each time that I apply glitter. So it definitely does take quite a bit of time, but the outcome is absolutely stunning. These colors from Chase Ray are so, so gorgeous. If you do not have them, I highly recommend getting them because they are just so pretty. And now that we've added those fine glitters in there, you can kind of see that that ombre is really coming together. take our tumbler and because there is some chunky mix in there I do pat it down with some wax paper just to make our epoxy go on a little bit more seamless now we're gonna pull that first tape line now I'm gonna take black 3.0 you can take really any acrylic paint and we're gonna fill in that first little wave to give ourselves a good base for our caviar black glitter from Peachy Olive Glitters. This is an absolutely gorgeous black glitter. Um, all of the glitters I use today, <laughs> if you don't have them, you should really consider putting them on your to purchase list because they are all so pretty. that black applied we're then going to take a little bit of that paint and put it in a medicine cup and I'm going to take some glitter glue and put it in there stir it all up and that's just going to give us a little more uh, color depth when we go to apply our glitter caviar I was mentioning it's almost got like some holographic black specks in it and I wouldn't say silver almost like a deep charcoal gray it's really really pretty so we're gonna take that glitter glue paint mixture and go right over top of that black line and initially when I was designing this cup I didn't want to have pinstriping so I took a lot of time here to make sure that my lines were perfectly straight um, you'll see I kind of pivot from that idea later, but <laughs> that is why I spent so much time here trying to get those lines perfect.
once we get that all applied, we're now gonna remove our tape line. move on to our next part of the wave once that glitter glue is dried I'd say I gave it maybe 30 minutes and then I went in to do my I decided to do gold instead of silver like I originally had um, on my design that I sketched out beforehand but because I'm gonna do white where the Dalmatian prints gonna go I just then ended up feeling like the gold would look a little bit better so I definitely do when I'm doing custom orders you know transition my designs a little bit as I go as need be for the outcome of the design if that makes sense now same thing I'm gonna take a little bit of that gold acrylic paint and mix it with some of the crystal glitter glue and I'm gonna use goddess for this wave and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go over top of our painted area with our glitter glue mixture and apply that glitter At this point I am just so excited <laughs> with how it's turning out now we're gonna take grace XL and grace fine from chase ray creations and now we're gonna work on that back Dalmatian section so once that glitter glue from those waves dried again I'd probably give it 30 minutes or so I'm gonna go in and start applying that white glitter I go in with the Grace XL first, and then I go in with the Grace Fine after that one to kind of fill in any of those sections that maybe didn't adhere the glitter as well. And don't forget your booty. I actually did that a couple of times in this on this tumbler. <laughs> And I do have way too much glitter glue on this bottom section here. I kind of try and remove some of it with my paintbrush because you just definitely don't need that much. And there it is. At this point, we still don't have any epoxy. <laughs> so I'm gonna let that dry for about two hours. And then I'm gonna go in with our Crystalac glitter glue again. And we're going to cover those glitters. I don't want any glitters transferring from one section to another. So here I'm gonna take the time and paint each section separately with the glitter glue to get it to stay put. Now we're gonna go in with our first two coats of epoxy.
After each coat of epoxy, we are gonna take our torch to try and pop any of those air bubbles. Now, for my Dalmatian print, I went to Creative Fabrica and I just typed in Dalmatian print. If you haven't used Creative Fabrica, it is so amazing. I actually bought the yearly subscription, so I paid $4.99 a month and paid up front, and I have access to hundreds of thousands of files. So I found the Dalmatian print that I wanted, click the download button, which you can't really see there behind the support button, <laughs> and then I just cut that out on my silhouette. Now I'm gonna kind of puzzle piece these Dalmatian prints on. Um, because of the wave, I can't really lay it all at the same time. So as you'll see here, I just kind of slowly start laying the prints as I see fit. good with like a leopard print or even zebra really any animal print would look so cool on this tumbler and I did sand around the entire tumbler and the rims and here I am again for getting the booty <laughs> so I've done all of my sanding at this point and now for my SVG I'm gonna go to made by Manny and Mel digital downloads she has so many amazing SVGs and I do have a dis uh, discount code for you guys in the description box but today I'm gonna use her you are enough SVG and I watched a tutorial she did using this SVG and fell in love with it so I will go ahead and get that linked below and I'm gonna load it in and I'm actually gonna use white and black for the UR and then I'm gonna use a black and almost like a holographic silvery textured for the enough. I did do my hinge method, so I trimmed off a little piece of that backing, and then as you'll see here, once I get it laid where I wanted, or positioned where I wanted, I remove that backing altogether and lay down the SVG. try and lay the entire word enough at the same time if you'd like but <laughs> I wasn't feeling super trustworthy of myself at this point so I just went in and laid each letter individually but here is what we got so far and at this point this is where I decide that I want to do some holographic pinstriping to pull out the word enough on the tumbler so I'm gonna take that holographic nail tape, and this did take me quite some time, so I will speed it up here. Um, but I just laid that in between each color of the wave. trim off that excess on the top and I was really happy with my decision after seeing that holographic pin striping on there so again another kind of pivot in the design but I'm absolutely loving it 
And now I did put a layer of quick coat. I didn't show that, but I did put a layer of quick coat because we had a lot of vinyl work here. And then I'm gonna go in with our final two coats of epoxy. And I did add a little bit of, gosh, I believe it was Echo from Chase Ray. Um, I'll link whichever one it was. It's a super fine glitter to kind of give the Dalmatian spots some shimmer and um, yeah, just kind of add a little more depth to our design. So that is it. After we get those final two coats applied, our tumbler is done. I absolutely love how this turned out. Custom orders are kind of hard sometimes, but ultimately I always end up loving the way they turn out, even if they kind of start to frustrate me. <laughs> and I realize I don't think I've ever shown you guys, I did apply acrylic tag by the way, um, I don't think I've ever shown you guys how I clean up my rims before I ship my tumblers. So as you can see here, I just take my X-Acto knife and go across that top and then take my rubbing alcohol and just clean out that inside of the rim. And then of course I wash with Dawn dish soap and water, but you just wanna be sure there's no paint or epoxy or anything else sitting inside of that tumbler. And here it is. I absolutely love how this custom order turned out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. If you love this tutorial and wanna see more, I would love for you to subscribe. You can hit that bell button to be notified anytime I upload any tutorials. And like always, I will have all of the items I used today in this tutorial listed and linked in the description box below. I even have some discount codes for you down there for glitter, SVGs, all of that good stuff. So. I will also have all of the links to my socials. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all the things. <laughs> and I also have a new makers group on Facebook if that's something you're interested in as well. But thank you guys so much for coming back today for another Tumblr tutorial and I will see you next week.